welcome back to the channel and i hope this daily devotion provides you peace and comfort that you need the theme for this devotion is god will provide many who profess to be christ followers have an anxious troubled heart because they are afraid to trust themselves with god they do not make a complete surrender to him for they shrink from the consequences that such a surrender may involve. Unless they do make the surrender, they cannot find peace. There are many whose hearts are aching under loud care because they seek to reach the world's standard. They have chosen its service, accepted its perplexities, adopted its customs. Thus their character is marred, their life made a weariness. The continual worry is wearing out the life forces. Our Lord desires them to lay aside their yoke of bondage. He invites them to accept his yoke. He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Worry is blind and cannot discern the future, but Jesus sees the end from the beginning. In every difficulty, he has his way prepared to bring relief. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Matthew 11 verse 30 and Psalms 84 verses 11. Our Heavenly Father has a thousand ways to provide for us which we know nothing of. Those who accept the one principle of making the service of God supreme will find perplexities vanish and a plain path before their feet. The faithful discharge of today's duties is the best preparation for tomorrow's trials. Do not gather together all tomorrow's liabilities and cares and add them to the burden of today. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Matthew 6 verses 34 let us be hopeful and courageous. Despondency in God's service is sinful and unreasonable. He knows our every necessity. To the optimists of the King of Kings, our covenant-keeping God unites the gentleness and care of the tender shepherd. His power is absolute, and it is a pledge of our sure fulfillment of his promises to all who trust in him. He has means for the removal of every difficulty that those who serve him and respect the means he employs may be sustained. His love is as far above all other love as the heavens are above the earth. He watches over his children with a love that is measureless and everlasting. In the darkest days when appearances seem most forbidding, have faith in God. He is working out his will, doing all things well in behalf of his people. The strength of those who love and serve him will be renewed day by day. He is able and willing to bestow upon his servants all the help they need. He will give them the wisdom which they varied necessity demands said the tried apostle paul he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength is made perfect in the weakness most gladly therefore will i rather glory in my infirmities that the power of christ may rest upon me therefore i take pleasure in infirmities in reproaches in necessities in persecution in distresses for christ's sake for when i am weak then I am strong. 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10. I hope that this blesses you today. Whatever you're going through, just know that God is your strength. Whatever weakness you have, whatever challenge you may have, God is there for you. God is your strength. God bless you and keep you till the next video. Amen.